hello student today we are going to see uh, when the spear ball uh, it's entering into the liquid viscous liquid okay it's from the viscosity okay uh, the question is from viscosity this is a question is asked in 2018 uh, physics neat uh, neat exam in physics okay first we'll see the spear ball radius is r okay it's entering into the viscous liquid that's given in the question okay now as the result how much heat will be produced due to the a uh, viscous force okay it's going to be they asked rate of uh, producing heat rate of producing heat okay uh, when the spear ball attain with the terminal velocity okay this much is given so term uh, its rate of change of heat is directly proportional to radius how much radius okay only radius you can see so in the time of radius you are going to see okay first we will do one by one okay Uh, see this question you need to analyze many things okay coefficient of viscosity when the spear ball is moving inside the coefficient of viscosity i know the terminal velocity okay terminal velocity is equal to this is a formula we know it is a fixed formula okay if you want more explanation about this formula means you can come and i will do i will derive how this formula we got okay so eta times of density minus sigma into g first we will see what is this formula vt is called terminal velocity the velocity of the spear ball is moving inside the liquid r is the radius of the spear ball eta is the coefficient of viscosity okay and rho is the spear ball density okay and this rho is the liquid density this is the gravity okay this what we have terminal velocity okay next one uh, that's this formula we know already when we are learning viscosity this is a main and formula you are going to learn okay then stokes force stokes force stokes force uh, this we no need to learn the derivation directly you can learn stokes formula 6 pi eta r vt okay so i am going to relate everything together force uh, it's going to be the viscous force 6 pi is a constant uh, it is going to be coefficient of viscosity it is radius it is terminal velocity okay like this we have force okay now what is the question is asked rate of uh, produced heat okay heat is called the energy rate of produced heat okay a rate of change of energy rate of change of energy is going to be the power actually rate of change of energy is going to be the power okay that is asked in question okay it's not energy power okay so i know work done is equal to force into displacement force into displacement okay uh, so energy is equal to force into displacement you can take it q heat energy no h you can take it or q you can take it q is equal to f force into displacement just i am going to differentiate this equation dq by dt rate of change of energy force or uh, d displacement displacement symbol we can take it as a yes displacement symbol we can take it as a yes okay rate of change of displacement by time this is going to called as the velocity so force into velocity finally force into velocity i'll get as a rate of change of a uh, heat energy okay or rate of change of energy so this velocity is called terminal velocity okay uh now what is stokes formula stokes formula already i know 6 pi uh, eta or vt terminal velocity again into vt is there okay i no need to get confused even you forgot one or two terms also you will get the answer is correctly because radius alone they are asking proper explanation okay so dq by dt this is the relation they ask with the relation of radius okay here one po radius power one is there remaining everything is constant 6 pi eta okay or vt square okay vt square what is vt terminal velocity already i know vt is equal to it's going to be 9 or uh, sorry 2 r square divided by 9 eta uh, density minus uh, sigma or uh, it is solid density it is liquid density into g okay like this we have so vt directly proportional to squaring of radius okay so just time substituting this as inside here what going to happen just we will see dq by dt so dq by dt dq by dt is equal to 6 pi eta or vt square no uh, that's going to be directly proportional to r square so r square whole square you no need to use another term directly you can go with the radius okay i'm going to hide all the terms dq by dt only you can focus with the radius directly proportional to radius square uh, sorry radius radius power 4 so directly proportional to radius power 5 that's it very simple answer uh, it's 5 times of the uh, given a uh, 5 times of the radius of the sphere ball okay it's directly proportional to 5 times of the radius ball okay thank you for watching my video if you like my channel please subscribe if you want more video you can go and see in my playlist thank you everyone